unforgettable seasons, our next guest has been steaming up the screen in her role as the brave and beautiful nurse Claire Randall on the critically acclaimed and highly addictive drama Outlander. Uh, this week, Claire must save wounded soldiers on both sides of the battlefield as they begin the fight of their lives. Please welcome the lovely Katrina Bell. Congratulate you on the success of Outlander. It's amazing. You guys, you're in your second season only, but you've already been picked up through your fourth season. Yeah. This, uh, this is also your first television role, but you already had a Golden Globe nomination. So how does it feel to have success among viewers and critics? Um, it's pretty crazy. I mean, you know, I had never done even one episode. I hadn't done a guest star or anything like that of TV. So, you know, when I got the show, it was all very new, but it, it just sort of, it connected with people and that's a really great thing. And it's been a wild ride and it's very exciting. Yeah. Thanks. Well, one of the people that's connected with is me because I love the show, <laughs> although I'm not all the way caught up on this season yet. Uh, but for people who have not watched it, you play a World War II nurse, mm -hmm. World War II nurse who accidentally travels back in time and then through a series of events tries to change history. She knows what's happening in the future, so she's able to kind of use that information to change things. This season is in 18th century Paris. Mm -hmm. Your costumes are gorgeous and very yes, complex. They are. Fabulous. They are. How long? like that um it does take a little while i, I have some help uh, my wonderful costume girl uh marnie it takes about 20 minutes i would say it, 20 okay. 25 it depends on which outfit but it, yeah and like do you sit do you pee <laughs> what are you doing um, no <laughs> uh it all has to come off if i want to go to the bathroom so it's very strategic water drinking and yeah. uh you know you have to plan your day quite well <laughs> um but yeah it's it's a lot of sort of being pushed over to the side and you you know i have to sit in special chairs and there's got to be carpet everywhere oh my god it's uh, yeah it was, it was quite uh, cool. full on. at least in, uh in the interest of fairness it's not just the women's costumes that are difficult mm -hmm. i think we actually have a photo of sam hewan uh on set where three people had to get him out of his <laughs> <laughs> is that normal for him as well? I think what's really happening is he's getting a pedicure, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he would never want me to say that. Um. <laughs> yeah, you know, Terry Dressback, our, our costume designer, she's done an amazing job, you know, especially this season. And like you see everyone, it's just all so sumptuous. No, it is and, spectacular yeah. mm -hmm. this season, show. it is. But that red dress, I mean, yeah. it's yeah. Very yeah. Fabulous. Yes. Wonderful. Now, this season also, your character is pregnant. Mm hmm And how was it you had the big dresses and the <laughs> bump? <laughs> and so uh, we see you, obviously, through, th uh, through this season, you're becoming more and more preggies. It must have been a handful. Um, you know, that was a really great part of the storyline, though. It was so lovely to see Claire, because she didn't think she could have children, and then... Her and Jamie, you know, they get pregnant. That's and because well, they're always doing meaning. it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you didn't want to get pregnant with the other one. Oh, no, it's so much better this way. Yes. But um, it was funny because you do sort of adopt these pregnancy moves. And yeah. I've never been pregnant, uh, uh, but you sort of like lean yeah. in like this and you're holding your belly and... Sam got very enamored with the bellies. Um, you know, the first two he really liked, he was like, oh, they're really fun. And he would like, and then by the time it got to the third bigger one, he was like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Now, a little it, too real for her. In one episode, Claire and some of her par Parisian friends decide to have a ladies' spa day, mm -hmm. where we learned that long before the Brazilian wax <laughs> became popular, French women were known to go totally bare down there. Has no one told you? In these oh. scenes, oh, oh, oh. Oh, did, did they use real wax for these scenes? What did they do? Um, no, that was a lot of honey. 
uh, per Claire Simone, who is so fantastic in the scene, she's hilarious in it, oh, was drowned so in honey, oh and it was God. flying all over the set. I mean, sticky. it was so horrible. It was a sticky mess, but. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> You went through a lot of bikini waxes before your acting career took off because you were a very successful runway model for 10 years. We've seen you on the Victoria's <laughs> Secret yeah. runway. Yeah. Doing this job, getting a bikini yeah. wax was part of your job. Your first waxing experience was something unforgettable. Well, yeah, well, I'm Irish, and I don't know, Sharon, I don't know if it's the same in England, but, you know, you're not brought up being brought to the beauty salon no. and taught about all of this <laughs> stuff. So, you know, I was... I was I knew what a razor was, you know, I wasn't a complete uh, uh, <laughs> Neanderthal, but, uh, you know, my sister who lived in New York, she worked at the Chrysler building and she had sort of paved the way for me. So she brought me to her waxer the first time. Mm -hmm. And the lady just loved to tell me how much hairier I was than my sister. And it was wow. very First introduction, so oh, yeah, that God. was thanks, sister. Wow. Wow. Welcome to New York, yeah. Katrina <laughs> Balf, ladies and gentlemen. Outlander airs Saturday nights at nine on Stars. We'll be right back. Yeah.